Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents, for oh, a Dollar Tree haul. Yes, it's been a minute since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. I know I've uh, done a lot of decluttering videos and I don't want to re-clutter, but I did pick up some stuff from the Dollar Tree. You guys have noticed that I've been buying a lot less from the Dollar Tree and there's a reason for that. You know, we running out of room and uh, a lot of this stuff will be gifted and things. So I picked up some Christmas cards, which I don't need because every year I say, I'm not gonna send out a thousand Christmas cards and get two in return. And every year I send out a thousand Christmas cards. So of course I'm exaggerating, but anyway, I'm gonna show you the Christmas cards I got. I'm gonna get rid of some boring stuff first. So the first thing that I picked up was this Aqua Fresh uh, cavity protection with sugar acid protection. Um, so I was in need of some toothpaste. Now I'll show you the Christmas cards that I picked up. So this is a pack of 12. This has got the little red truck with the Christmas trees. And this says best wishes for a wonderful holiday that brings fond memories to last a lifetime. So with these Christmas cards, you gotta keep in mind, like if you're sending out, like I have friends of multiple different faiths. So you don't wanna send Merry Christmas to your Jewish friends or your Muslim friends or whatever. You wanna send the appropriate card to the appropriate person, right? So this is the Merry Christmas one. I thought this was cute. Of course, I'll split these up with my mom. Some are 12 and some are 14. So this one is 14. Uh, now the box open. This is Happy Holidays. It's got the festive plaid. It's good for any, you know, person. And it says, may your holidays be merry and the new year bring you joy. So I thought that was cute. It says 14. I don't know why some are 12 and some are 14. Then I got this one with a cardinal on it. It says Merry Christmas. It says heartfelt wishes for a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Then I got this one, which I really like. It's kind of religious-y. It says joy to the world. It has the angel on it. And it says let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. So... I have some friends that are kind of like, you know, religious that would, that would be good for. This one is just, I like this because it's like country Christmas. It's, it's kind of bland. It's kind of boring, but it is like country Christmas. And it says, wishing your family a very Merry Christmas. So, you know, for friends that you're like, they're acquaintances and you don't want to send them something super sappy or super religious. This one is a cute one. It's really nice. And this is 14 cards. And then the last one that I got has another cardinal on it. And this is peace and love. And it says, wishing you a joyful holiday season. And again, this is good for anyone of any faith. And this is 14 cards. So I clearly did not need this many Christmas cards, but you know, and I buy this many every year. I don't use all of them, but I split them, like I said, between me and my mom, and I just send out a lot of cards. Then I found a birthday card that somebody left on the side, and I just thought it was so cute. I'm gonna set it aside for a birthday. I just thought it was really beautiful. It's this hot pink birthday cake, and it's from Hallmark. Uh, it's marked, does it say how much it is? No, it doesn't say how much it is. And it comes with a little pink Hallmark envelope. So it says birthdays are for celebrating the year that's gone by, enjoying memories and making new ones. And you open it up and it says, it says, hope your day is full of all these good things and many, many more. So this is a really, really pretty card. So what else did I pick up at the Dollar Tree? Now that was one trip to the Dollar Tree. Then I went back today and I picked up some things that I needed. So I 
am all out of my favorite. There's no my favorite. The Munch Right brown rice cakes with Himalayan salt. I've tried the ones with super seeds. I just didn't like them as much, so I picked up three. Then, did I pick up any more food? Yes. I'm all out of sweet and low at my job, my coffee. So I picked up another box of the Sweet Mate. I picked up these plates. I, you'll see one back there. I use them as TV trays. So like if I'm going to sit on my sofa and I'm going to have like a snack or something, I put a plate like a tray like that underneath it to catch crumbs and whatever. So I found these. These are trays. They have peppermints on them. And I just thought they were super cute for winter and for Christmas and for sitting and having my, you know, my eggnog while I'm sitting in front of the TV. Sugar-free eggnog for us diabetics. Then... I'll show you these. I got these lanterns. These are LED, what does it say? LED is super bright and adjustable. Says three AA batteries not included. So I had to buy AA batteries. I got one for me and I got one for my mom because you never know when God forbid there could be a blackout and you'll need a lantern. Now, God knows I have about a thousand candles, but you know, for my mom and for, you know, for whatever, it's always good to have battery operated lights. So I have some batteries and I'm going to put them in here and we'll see how bright these are. I picked up these, these are Kodak batteries. This is new to the Dollar Tree, I think. This says three year guarantee Kodak super heavy duty zinc batteries. I don't know what the difference between zinc and alkaline is, but so I picked up the Kodak batteries because it's a name brand. And I refuse to buy batteries at the super, not supermarket, at the pharmacy or the supermarket because they're just outrageously overpriced. Now I had bought one of these in purple that says, uh, something about candy. I don't know. I have a purple one that I got for Halloween. So I picked up a red one for Christmas that I'm going to put like holiday. What is that on there? I'm going to put like holiday treats in there or like, I don't know what I'm going to put in there. It says believe in the magic of Christmas. So maybe I'll use this to put like some bath and body work stuff in and give it as a gift, that would be nice. I should have gotten more than one because <laughs> I, I don't want to give this away. It's so pretty. Believe in the magic of Christmas. And it was a little too early for Christmas. Then along with that, I got two of these because I know I can put stuff in them and they are so country kitchen and they're stuck inside each other. So they say farm fresh Christmas trees. And I just thought they were adorable for Christmas to put some stuff in there. Farm, well, now it looks blurry because I have two tucked inside each other. Let me untuck them again. Yeah. So farm fresh Christmas trees. Then I picked up some, oh, here to go with my sweetener, I picked up some Coffee Mate Hazelnut. Then to go in my purse, because I have a large bottle of antacids uh, in my medicine cabinet, but just to throw in my bag for when I get acid indigestion, I picked up an assorted berries of Tums. I'm not nuts about Tums. I like the, the ones that have like the candy coated shell. You guys know what I'm talking about. So 12 chewable tablets, just in case I have a acid emergency. And then the rest is all body products. Okay. 
I did not need more lip gloss, uh, lip balm, but I thought this would make a cute gift. How cute would that look in that red basket with some, some other red themed items, right? That's cute. So these are lip smackers, Coca-Cola lip smackers. And you get three, you get cherry cola, you get uh, vanilla cola, and then you get the, like the classic. Yeah, cherry cola, vanilla cola, and then the classic, the classic cola. So these are great for stocking stuffers. Coca-Cola brand, Lip Smackers brand, you get three in there. I kind of wish I got another one, but I have to learn not to hoard. So then I got these two Maybelline New York lip paint. This is color Jolt. They had other colors. They had one that was like a brown, but I didn't get that one. So this says Violet Rebel, amp up the intensity, go beyond gloss with a jolt of intense color. Maybelline's vibrant lip paint delivers eight times more pigment in every drop. So this is new to the Dollar Tree, and this one is Talk Back Red. So I picked these up to see how these are going to be. Then I got more wipes. Uh, you know, I bought all, I bought out all the Bolero wipes when they came out in the summer collection. Now they have, I don't think this is really fall, but... I've been using them and I'm going to give some away as gifts. So I got these facial wipes. I got the orange blossom lavender. I don't know how they smell. I was going to open them, but I don't know. Then I got the uh, rose water and honey. And then the pineapple and aloe vera. There are two, there are 32 wipes in each uh, container. Now, I've had bad luck with the Bolero body wash. I find it pretty disgusting. Um, I decided to try it one more time. God knows I don't need a lot of body wash because I'm going through my Bath and Body Works body wash. But maybe this will be a gift. Maybe I'll try it out one last time just to see if Bolero actually like really sucks with their body washes. So I got the peonies and pear and I got the coconut and wild berries. I'm trying to shake them up. They don't seem as watery. Let me see. You got to check in the store. Make sure these are not open. This smells pretty good, but the smell, the cold smell, a cold sniff can be deceiving because then when you use them in the shower, like the last ones that I had, Smelled like rubber tires. This one smells good. They both smell good. We'll see how they are. They did make both of these, the peonies and pears and the coconut and wild berries. They made them in body souffle. Now, I don't need more creams, so I just got the um, coconut with wild berries because I wasn't really nuts about the other one. So I just picked up one. Then they have men's, they finally Bolero men's. And I figure I might give these to my significant other, even though I just gifted him a bunch of stuff from Bath and Body Works. I'm curious to see how these are. So we have the two-in-one men's shampoo and conditioner, charcoal and bamboo. Is this open? No. Well, kind of. Feels like somebody opened it. Charcoal and bamboo. It smells really good. I might use this myself. So. That I might keep that for me. I got up on me. Um, and then the other one is the cedarwood and eucalyptus. So let's see if this one is opened. This one is pretty closed. 
I have no idea what this smells like. Cedar wood and eucalyptus. I'm not the biggest fan of eucalyptus, so we'll have to see. But that other one, that other one smelled pretty good. Um, uh, charcoal and bamboo. Oh, and then the final two things that I got, as if I needed more wipes. But you know I cannot resist cute packaging wipes with the little snap closures. So these look new. These are, this is not a new brand to Bath & Body Works, but this I think is a new product to them. So this is the Global Beauty Care Women's Deodorant Wipes uh, with aloe vera. It says wipe away odor and sweat and it's in fresh powder scent. So I figure I'd give these a whirl, see how they are. And that is all that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I think that I did pretty okay. I mean, I limited myself on the wipes. Um, I didn't go overboard with the lip smackers. I only picked up one body souffle. The body washes, like I said, morbid curiosity makes me want to know if these are going to suck. We'll have to see. And these lip colors, the amp up the intensity. I'll just have to let you know later on how they are because I just don't feel like trying them on right now. The Tums I definitely need. The Aquafresh I definitely need. Leave those out. Sweet Mate. I'll put that in my bag for work. Oh, I wanted to try out these lanterns. Well, let me see. So the hazelnut creamer will go in my bag for work. These farm fresh Christmas trees. I think I'll put my Christmas cards in here temporarily. The Himalayan and brown salt. I want to leave those out because those will be like snack foods. This card I'm going to have to put with my Christmas stuff. I mean, my birthday stuff. And then, you know, this. Anyway, you guys are not interested in that. So I'm going to try one of these lanterns. This is what it looks like when you unscrew it. We're going to try the Kodak zinc batteries. And we're going to see how much light this produces. So... I just do. Okay, so they're in there. S screw the cap back on. Let's see. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you turn it on all the way up, that's pretty damn bright. Okay. For a green briar product, I'm pretty impressed. So, yeah. Pick up the lanterns. This is super bright and adjustable, and it certainly is. Uh, that's that's good for like your, your outdoors, you're going to put out your garbage outside or whatever. And I'm glad I picked up an extra one for my mom because I had a feeling they were going to be super bright. I'll have to let you know how the men's body wash is uh, and all this other stuff. But you don't want to hear me ramble on and on. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.